Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Wave Wade All City 11. So on waveway.com, they retail for 150 US dollars. Uh, there should be a lot more colorways coming out. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. This one I have is the Chinese New Year colorway or Year of the Rabbit. I like how they look. It has special meanings to me, but there are some details on there that I didn't really like. We'll talk about that very soon. Performance wise, I can tell you now that this is another great shoe from the brand. Its previous version, the All City 10, according to some people I know, was arguably the most popular shoe in China last year. I think this year has been replaced by the Li Ning Li Ren 3, but that tells us two things. One, the value is there, and two, they're good for outdoors. And I already know that I'll be getting this question a lot. Uh, they're both amazing shoes. Um, put in the Waveway 10, regular and low top. 808 2, man, how do I even choose? So you can factor in the price tag, aesthetics, uh, the pros and cons. I have a separate video on each, and I think there really isn't a bad choice out of their current lineup. All right, let's get right into some details on the All City 11, because uh, there are some important things that I want to point out about these guys. That is the box that they come in. It says make your own way on top with the number 11 and the logos. There are also 11 dots on the back of the box. I mean, the All City line is another long lasting one. Certainly one of the most popular lines that they have too. On a first look, this is a low top shoe as usual. And you can find similarities to the All City 10 on like the missile shape and all rigger part. It has a full length boom missile. Once again, this is the year of the rabbit colorway. So there are some special touches to it, like the patchwork, fluffy tongue, and the laces, I really don't even want to describe it. Uh, this is sort of a weird underwear texture. Color choice is nice though. Uh, the upper materials are fine, pretty standard mesh or textile. It is breathable, and towards the midfoot, you kind of have like a see-through panel with a logo underlaying the netting. The plastic caging on the missile and outrigger is not too hard. There's a very spiky TPU piece that guards the heel and an average amount of padding. Looking at the also, it's got a herringbone traction pattern. You can see a little bit of the midfoot shank plate, and this rubber is very sturdy for outdoor use. Yeah, other than that, it's a flexible upper that gives you a pretty nice and cozy wrap around your feet. A curved also, and right around average weight too, at 440 grams for my size 11 pair. As to how the All City 11 performs on the court, the cushioning setup feels fantastic on feet. You can really feel the soft foam underneath, some nice compression in the heel. Uh, it's responsive enough, and uh, I gotta say the best part about this shoe to me is the way it transitions from front to back. And also when you're shifting sideways too, given the nice outrigger part. I can say that the All City 11 has probably the most fluent core feel I've ever felt on any shoe. That includes shoes like the Curry's that have a crazy curve shape. I don't know if this would make sense, but I guess I'll describe the motion as rolling the dough when you're making pastry or dumplings. Like it's so smooth that there's nothing that pauses your movement. So this is definitely the biggest highlight. The full length boom certainly helped in this case. Trash and uh, now from my experience, the very first time I played in these, uh, it was at a court that I'd never been to before. Super dusty and dirty indoor gym. Uh, like there was mud on the floor because uh, we had a snowstorm that day. Uh, anyways, that first time really didn't go well, to be honest. But I didn't want to leave the bad impression on trash and performance. So I gave these more chances on different settings. And on other occasions, they worked just fine. It's a very squeaky also. On the clean court, it was perfect for me. My usual dusty gym, it was alright too. So trash and needs some breaking in. This one, I wouldn't call it crazy good like some of the other Waveway shoes, but it should still get you to a complete stop. With the fit, I still went half size up from my true size. I'm usually a 10 and a half in Nike sneakers. Size 11 fit me very well in these. A good thing about this shoe is the toe box fit. Spacious enough for most people, I feel like. I think someone was just asking about shoes that have decent room in the toe box. Uh, here it is. So width wise, it is waifu friendly too. Stability and support are decent. No foot pain experienced on uh, lateral movements for me as a flat footer especially. So everything else is good to go as well. Oh, maybe not the laces, but you can always swap them out for a thicker 
or more supportive laces. Overall, the OCD 11 is, uh, again, right up there in terms of performance. So to give you a quick rundown of what we talked about, best part was the smooth transition. Traction needs some break-in time, and they are waifu friendly. If you've seen some of my comparison videos, uh, I force myself to pick one out of two top-tier performers all the time. But wave wave shoes are giving me such a headache to compare, and it's because they're all consistently great. This one has more room in the toe box and midfoot, but otherwise I'd probably take the Sun of Flash for the unique style and amazing traction, especially for these being a little bit cheaper too. Anyways, hopefully this video helped. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.